Episode 50. Oh my God. You know what's really special? What? You kind of helped birth this podcast. A little bit. Pre-episodes, you know, before Mm -hmm. 50 even Mm -hmm. existed. Mm -hmm. The embryo. Yes. So Sarah's not here. Is she? (laughs) And it's really fitting to me to have my first choice (laughs) co-host who birthed this show. I mean, you were very, you're a very big supporter of me doing the show and I appreciate it. So if there's anyone I was going to have on episode 50, it was, it was going to be you. Well, that's very flattering. I'm happy to be here 50 years later. So like it's been only a year. Wait, has it been a year yet? No, no, no. Because it's like 62 weeks in a year, right? 52, but yeah. (laughs) Off to a great start. Nothing has changed. Let's blow out this candle. Everyone listening, I have an ice cream cake here. It's melted. The microphone got in it. Our uh, topic list also got in it. It's beautiful. And it wants to be part of the conversation. It's, it's going to be melting onto the set here pretty soon. Um, but it says 50 and over the hill. Because if you've been listening, you know 50 is the over hill. the hill. Not 40. Mm-mm. Too young. Are you ready? To blow the candle. Do we out? have a happy birthday song for this? We can. No, that wouldn't be. The only good happy birthday song is the Stevie Wonder version. The happy birthday song sucks. Ha- at any point, okay, we gotta blow this candle. Okay, wait. Ball, and then we can. Wait. They are quite large. Can you though. sing like a line from Stevie mm, Wonder's birthday? Yeah, it just goes Happy birthday <laughs> okay. to you. Happy birthday. That one, and then it's just fun, and then it's over. You're using your eyes too much. <laughs> <laughs> Alex. What? I wasn't impersonating him. <laughs> but good to know. All right. You do it. You it's, it's your cake. It's your cake too. You're All right. you're here with me. Let's hold hands and blow it out together. Okay. Three, two, one. <gasps> I really thought there would be trick candles. Um but they're not. No, no, no. Mm. No. Um, too much blowing. Take a bite so we can get this cake escorted. Oh, to remove it? Yes. Unless mm-hmm. we should just watch it melt. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we have to move this kind of stuff. No, I'm no. I think dig it in there. be bad. Mmm. Mint? Alex, I have a spoon for you, too. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the ASMR <laughs> channel. <laughs> ah. Thanks for 50 episodes, Alex. Mmm. Thank you. Congratulations. That's a huge milestone. It is. Very exciting. I know. Some people mm-hmm. don't make it this far. Nope. That was quite good. Mm-hmm. Mm. Ice cream cake's the superior cake. You know, it's an interesting fact for the listeners. Will helped me come up with the name of this podcast. Mm, that's true. It was back when it was just me yelling at Alina. It was. Speaking of which, I thought it would be a great moment to <laughs> react in real time to our first episode. Oh, God. Not the entire thing. Okay. That's good. That's good. Um, we have it here for you. Just one second. I, you cannot make me listen to myself. <laughs> no. Oh my God. I know. I know. You can keep eating the cake if you like. I, I will, which is the problem. Oh my God. So I just so want to preface before you, before, like when, when we watch this, you just, the difference is, it's so different. Just like you grown. No, but both of us. Oh yeah. yeah. Um we were really uh, stressed about it. There are so many giggles. So many giggles. No, it's the is it this one? This is the one? Okay. I couldn't I couldn't see it yesterday when we were watching, oh, so I wow. thought maybe it was Well we did what? We did two episodes? Yeah. Yes, we and did then, two episodes. Yeah. The first one was is this the first one? This is the second one. Okay, so but this it, is the one where we were better. Yeah. yeah. But it would have been like our official episode uh-huh, i think uh-huh. um the first one was just like the lighting was really off and i'm just giggling the entire time it was basically like shot on an iphone yeah but hey we were doing the best of what we got yeah yeah all right let's go ahead oh my god rolling on sound <laughs> rolling on camera all right we gotta say it we gotta say it out loud that's what they do <laughs> we're we rolling on it. camera and on audio rolling audio camera silent that action <laughs> okay <laughs> Ow. the terrible clap what it's making almost I can no hear. sound can you hear yeah i can hear clap okay 
Unfortunately, I can hear. Uh, how oh affected my, are we going to be by background noise? Can you hear? It's, it, yeah, whatever you can hear. Okay, okay. Yeah. Who, so oh, if we hear like... Can you hear this? Yeah. Should I be comment? Okay. Well, I don't know that. I don't know. <laughs> you can pause it if we're talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm no... Ugh. What are your thoughts so far? This is a shit show. There's like a... Re- this This is not meant to be. Right. <laughs> no. is not in the universe. It's just... We just advanced so much, I feel. I mean, th- you all can't see this setup, but this is like a high-tech studio we got going now. Thank There's you. like a fucking lamp up above <laughs> us. There's a timer. I can hear myself. <laughs> That's not just fucking hard. What was this? Kombucha? Also, look how much the plant has died since. Wow. <laughs> Pour on out. Yikes. Yikes. Mm, it's okay. All right. I mean, it's still green. Okay, yeah. continue. Do we have to? I can hear it, but I don't know. If I don't hear it through there. the headphones. Yeah. Well, where okay. the fuck else would I hear it from? Dumbass. Wow, we have like five extra <laughs> right Good morning and welcome back to <laughs> Can You Hear This? <laughs> this is so stupid. You're so funny. No, I'm not. I just don't know what to do. You're so cute, though. Look <laughs> at that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I feel weird. Everyone's watching us. It was like two people watching. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't that big yeah. of a deal. Are we streaming this right now? Um, <laughs> hello. Hi. We're here with uh, our second episode of Are We Still Friends? We're back. We made but it. Just One. Kidding. We didn't make Should it, though, actually. <laughs> but we... We'd shot episode one and then we realized we wanted to have like a funny joke in episode one. So when we did episode two, oh, yeah, we, we were going to fake it and then mm-hmm. put it in there. So it's just like adding to the complexity of the episode. I mean, it was smart to think about it. It was. But it was just not it. But like, look at how giggly. Oh, just I can't get over it. Okay, keep going. It's very cute. Do we have to watch the whole fucking <laughs> okay, thing? Cut. <laughs> this is a cutting this isn't going well. <laughs> it's not doing anything right. No, this is a cutting Today point. has been misfire after misfire. No, but the episode is going to be amazing. No. Okay. Speak for yourself. This is recording, right? All right. I, <laughs> hold up. This is like, wait, this is recording, right? <laughs> is it? <laughs> oh, much, good. much smoother operation. Yeah. Now. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. I mean, see, it all worked out for the best. Yeah. And that everyone will see that and be like, mm-hmm, yep, we're, we were good. Yeah. Didn't, we didn't need any more of that. No. But guess what, bitches? I'm back. <laughs> guess who's back in the that? The bitch house. is back. The bitch is back. Or the witch is back. Mm, I think you have bitch. chocolate in your tooth. I probably tooth. do. <laughs> and I'm just going to keep eating. <laughs> okay. that do you want me to get you floss? No. I don't need floss right now. <laughs> Would you like me to have No, that? I just like, you know, you, everyone needs that friend that tells them, I appreciate it. Are Would you, you ever? Mm, sometimes, yeah, yeah. Why do you, you want to smile and show me when you have anything? Are you re- you're good? Are you receptive if a stranger comes up to you and tells you you have something in your teeth? Oh, that's the worst. Right. I would rather friend. just not know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what if it's like like a tag, like a stranger's like, oh, your tag's out. I'm like, I don't know you, Susan. Go, yeah, like, don't if- touch my back. Has someone done that? <laughs> yeah. Or like, oh my God, I can see your... Unless it's really bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You I'm actually seem you like go. the kind of person that has their tag out a lot. It's <laughs> <laughs> really fucking rude. <laughs> why Why is that? Well, you want to elaborate? Yeah, your shirts are usually wrinkly. Okay, they sometimes Which means wrinkly. you don't really have time. Which no, means you may not have time to take the label off. I'm not even going to defend this. <laughs> I take the fucking label <laughs> off. I'm not walking around with a TJ Maxx tag on. Are you a tag bitch? To be honest. How many times have, have you been told? Well, <laughs> I don't have a fucking catalog of tag mixes or whatever the fuck. <laughs> I thought you meant like, do you have, do you wear clothes with tags on them still? No, I take it off. I mean, I, I have like forgotten the, the store. For sure, yeah. I just mean like, you know, like a shirt, like you still have the tag. That's like not the store tag. I've never worn something with a tag on it and then returned it. Huh? Okay, you know when you're <laughs> shopping in a store yes. and there's the price tag on it yeah. and that they scan at the register. That's got to get cut off when you wear it. Immediately, yeah. Some people will wear it with the price tag still on oh. and then return it. Yeah, that's theft. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. Yes. Great. We're, um, we're on the same page. Citizens. Do you cut the tag? 
like the tag no. that comes with the shirt uh, that tells you like wash instructions no, uh sometimes yeah. yeah if it's annoying then yeah but like sometimes i'll put them on the sides mm, so they just mm-hmm. touch your yeah you know my, my six love pack. handle yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and i'm like yeah no, it's one, just no one wants it's that it's annoying yeah they should make zara, them like, zara ones are they they should be you know fined they're, they're like uh, cvs receipt longs yes. yeah <laughs> They should be like rip off. They should be perforated. Yeah. So you can sh- um, Uniqlo's, I think, are just like printed on the shirt, which oh, I appreciate. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. Uniqlo, always a trailblazer. Yeah. Guess what? What? I'm not going to talk about the first topic on that list. That was oh, just to tease God. you. Oh, God. Oh, wait. That was a whole, I'll tell you later. It was a whole thing. Every fucking work meeting. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Do you want to tell no. her? No, I'm not. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Next. It'll be mystery. <laughs> mystery. Did you have any stories? As I know you know all about me as a kid. Mm-hmm. I just yeah. can't picture what you were like as a child. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I want to know if you were weird. Did you do anything weird? I mean, I feel like all kids are weird. No, some kids. <sighs> No, every kid's weird. But yes, I was I was a weird kid. Of course I was. I think I was more annoying than weird. Okay. Were you like, like I, was, I know the answer? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was more like, that's actually, you should be saying whom, not who. And it's like, fuck you. That brings us back to our You're first 11. point. Oh my God. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, define like Did weird. You, like, like, would you... <laughs> What? Would you talk to yourself in the mirror? Mm, no. Would you so sing? I did kiss myself in the mirror sometimes, but I feel like everyone's <laughs> done that. I've never done <laughs> you <laughs> never kissed yourself in the mirror? I never even thought about like, that. Did you like the fucking movies? <laughs> when you're like 10, you're like, what's a kiss like? Never? Am I red right now? <laughs> <laughs> so apparently I was the weird kid. But I feel like it's all you relative. Like, you're were, so hot. No, yeah, no, you're like, so hot. Like, how would you approach it? Like, are you going to go to the left? Are you going to go to the right? Oh, yeah, you're yeah, like, yeah. Got to like work out the logistics. I thought teeth were a lot more involved. Mm, yeah, yeah. Like, I, I just, I couldn't understand where the teeth went. <laughs> what? It, Was it just come to you just, naturally? Why, why, that's a crazy thought. I don't you think never, it is. What, what did you contemplate about first kiss? Because I was just like, my teeth are going to hit. It's going to be a teeth to teeth interaction. And what about my nose? The nose is a legit Maybe concern. The nose, yeah. Teeth I didn't really think about. Especially for a first kiss. I wasn't thinking like tongues and stuff like that. Oh. For first kiss? I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it was, you know, it's just like a peck. Yeah. What are you yeah. going to go for? Yeah. But then like, who knows what's going to happen? You got to be prepared. Yeah. Like what then happens next? Yeah. Sex probably. <laughs> Did you ever... Back on the cheek and then anal. Do you guys... Re- <laughs> <laughs> do you guys remember the, the first tongue slippage? Yeah. I do. Did it go well? Horribly. It no. was like a washing machine. Oh. What? Like I remember... I remember... You know how some people have like thick spit? I don't know. That's not what I was talking about. Okay. <laughs> 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 I just remember their, their like someone just in like, their mouth. Someone's like... <laughs> Yeah, I got like a mucusy. I think I was, uh, well, one, I didn't have my first kiss until much later in life. Yeah. AKA college. <laughs> really? Yeah. Well, you had kisses. Because, oh, again, back to the topic at hand. Right. In the mirror. I was the weird kid. <laughs> <laughs> in the mi- I can't believe, if you have done this, please let me know. Actually, I don't want to know. <laughs> um, no, but. I kissed my arm. See, I don't think I did that. And then I gave myself Maybe. a hickey. Did you ever like do this where you could like talk to your mouth? Maybe like put your thumb up to your index finger and like make it a mouth? And no. then, <laughs> <laughs> did you Alex? No, I did not do that. Okay. There was like a cartoon of like mouths. Some sort of uh-huh. programming. It was like mouths. What? Okay. Is, <laughs> am I I think I'm making No, this. you're right, you're right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. I don't know what it was called. Anyway. Um oh god. This so I'm so yeah. embarrassed now. I feel like it's gonna be a mess soon. Mm. I could eat that whole thing. No, just l- keep leaving it out. <laughs> just make it this problem, but over there. It's on the cords. I'm just going to leave it because it's going to be a sticky mess. Production, can we get it clean up? Okay, so. It'll be fine. Wait, no, you kiss I would, yourself in the mirror. No, okay, but let's move on with it. I think I was willfully unprepared for how wet 
<laughs> kisses were with like the tongue okay. and it i think it was like a dance floor make out in college mm-hmm. and i was like whoa what is happening <laughs> but also it was with a woman and so i was like what is not happening <laughs> was equally as confusing yeah. yeah well so but that's not an issue now you're no you're dating alex mm-hmm. things have yeah. been going really well yeah it was great how long has it been man Oh, 10, 10 or so months. Wow. Yeah. What's your Alex favorite are great. activity to do with Alex? Oh, that's a good question. Um, we go to the gym together, which is really Ooh. fun. Um, love a good hike. Any sort of competitive sport where I can win is also very fun. Oh, so much activity. Uh, yeah, I like an activity. It's fun. Remember when we went on a hike together? Oh, yes. It was yeah. so grueling. That was a really hard hike. It was actually pretty. It's pretty steep. Yes. yes. It was we very steep. We should do that now. It's probably pretty Good weather pretty now. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Will and I, Will and I have... Um, you had a moment where you were a hiker. You yes. And then I would like... Said you I would were talk about it a lot. Yes. You were going on hikes. And then, I think you guys remember, I saw a snake on a trail. <laughs> it all came crashing down. Slithered up to me. And I said, never again. I, I, I value my life. I should never step in foot in an REI ever again. Yeah. Um, you were good at it. It was great. We should go on more hikes. We should. Take a hike. Um, okay. So okay. Alex and you go on hikes. That's cool. Mm-hmm. I was going to talk about something. Oh, um, have you ever been on a plane and had really bad turbulence and... <laughs> thought you were gonna die and maybe sent a text message to somebody saying goodbye what <laughs> mm, no no i've been on a few flights with pretty bad turbulence but it was very short-lived okay it was like a real quick like you're we're all sideways and then we're back to normal and it's like okay we're all good we're all good yeah but nothing that's been like catastrophic was there ever a moment where you thought I better pull out my phone and write a, write something in my notes app. So if they, do you ever think about mm, that? I th- yeah, I do think about probably every plane. I'm like, okay, if we're going down, who am I going to talk to? Okay, you know, yeah. you don't like you don't have much time. I assume. No, yeah, I mean, last week Alex said that the only appropriate time I should have uh, texted my mom because I had that experience was if I was in a free fall. I, I kind of agree. Thank you. Yeah. Thank well, like, when, when do you think you reach the point where you're like, I got to draft something? The first shake of the plane for <laughs> It was like three <laughs> Take shakes. Take off. And I, it was three shakes. Okay, I'll just recap it really quickly um, because I don't think you, I mean, I know it, I texted you guys. But like but you didn't. Yeah. Basically, turbulence was really bad. Um, I'll get to this part of the story that I didn't get to tell last week, which I think is very important. Um, the, the, um, pilot gets on and in a very kind of nervous voice is like, hmm. pilots, please take your jump seats. Pilots? I mean, flight attendants. I would hope you <laughs> would be in a fucking seat. And then like two minutes later, he's like, flight attendants, please check oh. in. Oh. And I was like, okay, well, something check seems in. all. I've never heard of check in. And it was pretty bad, the, the shaking. Um, and then the two things that I missed out from, so anyway, turbulence is really bad i start getting really nervous i start drafting a text to my mom that's fair debating what i would say you know like Mm -hmm. i love you i'm gonna die cross (laughs) my mind but the the response the thing that i ended up texting my mom was i'm scared (laughs) (laughs) that's it yeah and she was like what's going on i told her i'm like it's really bad turbulence she's like you're totally fine this Mm -hmm. happens calm Mm -hmm. me down it was great but it's great lovely lovely but it was just like the thoughts that went in my head the minute before, like the amount of times I wrote something and erased it, wrote something and erased it. Cause I was like, what do you say when you think you're going to die, but you're not sure if you're just mm. being, you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. Just so, being Alina. Yeah. Yes. So two things. Cause I do do think I do overreact a lot in life. So, no, um, never, no, never. So two things. One, when the flight took off, I knew things were for, were all messed up How? because I looked down and someone's phone is just, sliding down (laughs) (laughs) the middle of the row and then right behind it like almost just like a movie little orange (laughs) m&m is just tumbling down after just one just one single one and i look out and the guy in front is like where's my phone (laughs) where is it and who was saying where's my m&m yeah and i just 
turned back and I just watched it go really far. I said, okay, things are off to a good start. And then when we landed, you know, okay. once once the imminent threat was over, right, right. I do think that something about that ocean, that Pacific Ocean there has has some turbulence that is that is unlike that is other special? turbulence mm. that you've experienced. How do you think it compares to the Bermuda Triangle? Ooh, I don't know. I don't think you come back from that. Mm, good point. Um, so the Pacific Ocean turbulence is survivable. Yes. Mm. Yeah, because it's not called so the Pacific Triangle. Can, <laughs> <laughs> it's just an ocean for now. It's No one has deemed it to be a mm, triangle. The Ring of Fire is also what it's called. Really? Apparently because of all the like tectonic plates around the Pacific Ooh. Ocean. What are your thoughts on tectonic plates? False. Scam. Don't exist. <laughs> never seen one. Never felt one. They're just making it up. Isn't it, isn't it just what the Grand Canyon is? Just above the surface? Like is the Grand Canyon maybe a tectonic plate? No, no. Like, wasn't it like a river yeah, that just river. flowed for thousands and millions of years that yeah. just dug through it? Tectonic plate is like the San Gabriel Fault, mm -hmm. Does where it they look come together. Like, like there was probably a like a Zara there. I don't know. <laughs> Could it look like a canyon? Could it look like what the Grand Canyon looks like? I, I think they're closer than that. Yeah, the, the way that you're thinking about well, the no, separation. I know, I know they're closer. <laughs> I know the Grand Canyon's like like that deep. Got Got yeah, just like the the, the geographical structure mm -hmm. of mm -hmm, mm -hmm. giant mounds of land together. Together, I mean, maybe. Did you ever you see know? Indiana Jones? No. Oh. Well, there's like a like a point where he walks in between like a big canyon, <gasps> and I feel like that could. And be. then the boulder comes down, and and uh, like yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that's earlier, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. One of the theories for the Grand Canyon, 250 million years ago, the Grand Canyon started to form as the result of a collision between the Pacific and North Ameri American tectonic plates. Oh my God! Look at you, little scientist. And, but then, but then I think that also the, there was the river that had that you know carved a bit, a bit of it as well. Rivers do be carving. Yeah. They do. We also do have a submission from a listener about <gasps> one time where they had a similar situation as you did, Elena. If oh, you hear that? I would, I would, but Let I just want to say oh, one thing please, about the story. <laughs> so, because. It, we land, and I'm like, "Thank God, we made it." And you and, still text your mom. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I haven't actually reconciled that with her that I that I, you know, thought I was going to die. So I need to thank her for her. Really good. Um, but we land, and the stewardess, a stewardess, mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm. gets on and says. Can we get a round of applause for our 25-year-old pilot? That's his first <laughs> time Shut landing. Up. Shut <laughs> up. Are you kidding me? And I went, everything makes sense now. His tone sense. of voice. That Please would, check in. Please check in. <laughs> that would be Alex landing a plane. In a year or in a couple months, I guess. You're not even 25. Please check in. Yeah, yeah 25 or 24. Well, I should know. I'm 17, I mean. <laughs> I just... Yeah. That's terrifying. I mean, thank God that she wasn't on takeoff. Yes. Everyone, let's give Chase a big <laughs> yes. round of applause. It's He's his first <laughs> flight ever. <laughs> yeah. Let's hope we make it down. It was kind of cruel, though. Like, we were going to wait until we landed and then, surprise. That's like a, you had a driver's ed uh, <laughs> student pl flying your plane. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. He barely passed. That's like you wait till everyone's off the plane and then it's like, oh my God, yay, congratulations, you did it. Don't subject everyone yeah. to like the terror. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my God, can you if imagine you were a if you pilot and it was going down, landing? would you tell everyone? Or would um, you be like... <laughs> is it my fault or is it just going down? It's just going down. I think I would tell people. Would you play, Actually, would you play Beyonce? They have, and no. <laughs> <laughs> I well, love Alicia's Beyonce. keys, I'm going down. <laughs> um, no, actually, I don't know. I don't know if I would tell people. If it's I think inedible, I would say, hey, everyone, we're going down. Now would be a great time to text, to text your loved your ones. <laughs> I'm turning on the Wi-Fi. Did you see the hawk? I did see the hawk. <laughs> yes. Hawk sighting. That was probably your pilot, actually. Yeah. Just making its landing. <laughs> Woo! Um, no, I feel like if you're going down, you would feel it. You know, where there's like a certain point. Oh, yeah, because it's like a free fall. So it's especially like, like a, a big commercial plane where it's like, I think you're going to at some point tip. And I feel like at that point... It is your responsibility. See something, say something, and what tell them you're gonna fucking die. From school, uh, from like the airport. Say something. It's like well, kind of like post terrorism. Not that that was like just a new thing, but like post nine eleven. Like <laughs> see something, say something in an airport. But like, I would never. 
<laughs> like, you're just walking through and you're like oh that's a random bag i'm gonna you keep walking say something if i okay if someone was being suspicious and they like were around and then like dropped something and then ran yeah. i'd say something but like if like fucking you sally is going to go fill up her yeah i'd be like okay whatever. i would my what, what would you who would you say and what would you say i was the kid that would you know a tattletale not i didn't see it as tattletaling it was more mm, mm-hmm. i'm trying to protect you know mm, the batman you know, trying to protect um i felt i feel this need sometimes where if i don't say something then i'm gonna cause harm to someone so my brain would go if i don't report this louis vuitton bag and i get on my flight and something happens with this louis vuitton bag and it harms 10 people mm. that's on me you know when people send those things that are like if you don't reshare this 10 times, your family will die. I feel that. So you send them. Yeah. I you're used just, to. You did. Yeah. Wow. I, th- I thought I had to. You didn't? You didn't ever feel the pressures of the... Okay. I was just giving you the blankest stare I've ever I, seen. I know what you mean. Where it's like, okay, if I don't want to be your fault. But it's not your fault, though. I mean, the real crime is having a Louis Vuitton bag. <laughs> There. Oh boy. Um, okay, should we oh. hear the story? Oh, yeah, oh no, hear the story. Ahead. No, no, no. I just, that's not based on any fact. Oh, what I did hear, though, I think this is from TikTok, is that turbulence is like a plane being in jello. And so, like, it shakes and it's not going to go anywhere, mm. but it's just going to, like, jiggle. How did the plane get in the jello? <laughs> <laughs> oh, like the 25 year old pilot put it there. I don't know. I think it's just uh, an analogy. But, but see, it's like. If you were walking down the street and you started shaking violently, wouldn't your brain think it could be my arm could come off? What? You know? Do you think that in a plane with turbulence? Yeah. Oh no, my arm's going to come no, off. No, no, the plane's <laughs> arm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean I, I I do think about it. Yeah. When there's bad turbulence, I'm like, really how much did we test this plane? Yes. And how long has it been flying because yeah. it could be just one screw away from Yeah. Pink. But what are you going to do? No, you know you can't do anything. What are you gonna do? But text your loved ones. I do, but I think you should maybe not leave with "I'm scared" next yeah. time. Yeah. Shall we hear the story? We shall. It's not a spoken story; it's a written one. Do you want me to read it? Do you want to put me put it on the screen? I was like, it's I want spoken you to read word. It. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Scripture. Hello, <laughs> this is from Taryn. Hello, Alex, Alina, and possibly Sarah, assuming she's listening. Uh, I once texted my father just two words in all caps. It was "send help." Oh my God! <laughs> no one's gonna help you. <laughs> my friends and I were in a quirky little phrase where "send help" could mean we had an ant flow situation going on in the bathroom, or we simply were laughing so hard that we couldn't breathe and we needed someone to send help. I sent this text because I had panicked and forgotten my basketball shoes for the game I had to leave for in about an hour. Oh, okay, there was no airplane. No. So, okay. Okay, it wasn't like an actually send help no. situation. Okay. But for some reason, I didn't send any other text. I mean, I was panicked about the shoes. I couldn't play in the boots I was wearing, but my dad was even more panicked. He came to the school because I forgot to reply, and I was called to the office. I was welcomed with my dad crying in the office because <gasps> he thought something serious had happened and that I was in danger. I felt like absolute shit after because my teenage brain didn't see an issue with sending send help with no other details to my father in a school setting too that's even more fucked up yeah. because like you're getting shot up yeah. Yeah. is a subtext here yeah wow wait so she was concerned about having to play basketball, basketball in, in like boots. boots yeah that is a concerning issue absolutely yeah. Yeah. but maybe follow up with send help aka send shoes <laughs> send my sneakers yeah, yeah a little bit more that's funny i feel like you would do that send help help yeah i do i do drop texts that are a little alarming and then kind you of do. disappear <laughs> yeah you do and then you just move right along yeah. so i'm like if you sent me randomly i'm scared i'd be like mm, of what she saw a mosquito. Yeah, yeah yeah or like ollie looked at you a weird way yeah. like no he doesn't hate you he always says to go outside i don't know yeah 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 but to your mother is it, when it's a parent they, they don't get it yeah in the same way yeah which is fair i would also show up crying and then i'd be pissed yeah Poor dad. Well, did she win her basketball game? Fuck if I know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I hope you lost. Okay? <laughs> I want to know something. Mm-hmm. When you shower, do yeah. you miss any spots? No. Are you sure? <laughs> I mean, if anything, it'd be like the bottom of my foot. Is yeah. 
I'm like, I don't know. There's there's spots that apparently a lot of people miss. I'll, I'll tell you what okay. they are. Behind the ears. Okay. Yep. Um, in between toes. Okay. Yep. Miss those two. Um, belly button. Okay. Is I, I <laughs> wash my belly button. Do you put your finger in there? I have it like an Audi, so it, you, know. you have an Audi. Yeah. Really? I mean, it's not aggressive. Hmm. It's not an any for sure. Wow, it's lucky you get to see all the lint. <laughs> mm-hmm. It does still get stuck in there, though. But yeah, I can see that little balloon tie. You in any or an Audi? Well, don't show us. I wasn't sure. I needed to check. Send help. <laughs> you don't know? Mine's like kind of in between. Like You don't? I'm no, sorry. Question. I guess mine's a little bit in between. You don't know? You've been in your body for 20 something years. I, yeah, I haven't thought about my belly button for most of those years. I think about my belly button every day. Do you really? Yeah. Why? I think about my belly button. I think about other people's belly buttons. Every day? Yeah. Why? Because. Do you have a syndrome? Don't, don't say because. Is because. It because. Right? Oh, yeah. clearly. Wait, I have feel you like ever had yours b- pierced? No. No, I don't think so. I feel like my brain sends signals to my belly button quite often I don't to think, think about it. Oh, uh, hmm. that's mm, okay. <laughs> send help once. <again. laughs> I don't. Uh, I don't think it's a common. What it does? Do you ever like? It does feel weird. <laughs> well, mine's it. Mine's an any, but it's not like a three inch any. You know, or like some some mm-hmm. people's are mm-hmm. a deep cave. You know, mm-hmm. what that's goes in canyon. there. Mine's both. What is it? I, I can't tell. <laughs> okay, sh- show us, but. Um, in the most appropriate way possible, please. It's an Audi. That's an innie. That's an innie? In. Do you know what an Audi is? An Audi is inside out. Oh, well, then I don't have an Audi. Yeah, but people don't really like... Innies are like, uh, I can't see it. Yeah. Audi, you know what I mean? Audis aren't like they like are like a tag hanging on their stomach. Right. I don't think. Maybe you should Google an Audi <laughs> yeah, belly button. I'll, I'll pop some belly buttons yeah. to the screen. No, but... um. I, t- I get in there with a Q-tip sometimes. <gasps> and then, Do you use a Q-tip in your ears? Yes. You know, what is the deal with that? Oh Why do they God. sell it? So you know Q-tips, they yeah, don't yeah, have yeah. pictures of any ears on it. There's mm-hmm. no instructions because they don't actually want you to use them for your ears. But everyone well, uses them for their ears. You're apparently not supposed to shove it deep into your ear yes. cavity. Yes, I don't do that. Oh, I'd well, then you're using it correctly. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it feels nice. But you're supposed to like clean the outside. Yeah, I clean like more of the other areas. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. Just kind of like yeah, yeah, yeah. in, yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, I feel, also feel like I had more earwax when I was younger. Does earwax, is earwax like puberty? You did? Yeah. Uh, I, don't, I feel like maybe you get it when you're young and then really old. Uh, I don't know. Interesting. That's a great question. Mary Ann. Sorry, I'm. Sorry, I'm just Alex looking at Alex has belly a really uh, odd face, and I'm looking at belly buttons. You see like, what I see with they're disturbing. Yeah, I mean belly buttons are not what a, not a good. I feel thing. like we have advanced as a society to improve on the belly button. Do you think people get belly button surgeries? Probably, yeah. There's, oh, there are six I like types. This. There are six, six types. types. Whoa! A light bulb. We got to put this on. Can you yeah, zoom in? Yeah, on. yeah. So you Audi is like fully out. Okay. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely not. Vertical looks like a vulva. Yeah. Horizontal. No one has a horizontal belly button. That's a lot. I have a round. I feel like I have a round. Yeah, that's not an Audi. I think mine's also a round, maybe. What is a light bulb? I wonder how many inches the deep why hollow these, is. Why is the I don't same think color? I don't think it's gonna be inches. Maybe like a couple of centimeters. In, well, speak for yourself. Huh. <laughs> I can. I think mine's round because I can still see. It's also really cute. It's like a circle, oh. and then it has like all these little lines Slay on it. Belly it looks like it looks like a beach ball. You oh, know? so you're proud of your belly button? That's why you think about it a mm. lot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She's like, I can't wait to show. Yeah, that yeah. No, but I don't one time I pierce. caught lit in there, and I was like, "How dare you be dirty?" And I went so hard with the Q-tip that I made myself bleed. Out of your what belly button? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so that's kind of why I think about it a lot because it, I had a burning wait, sensation. Wait, wait, wait. You made your belly button bleed with a Q-tip? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Psychopath. Because the crevices, they But with a Q-tip, they have Q-tip like so well, yeah, yeah, but it's like so soft. You really had to be going to town. Well, some some you of the, were punishing some of the your crevices belly are so small. Like again, mm. it's a my my belly button inside is like a beach ball, you know? And each 
uh-huh. like yeah, different yeah, yeah. is is yeah, the line yep, in yep, my I belly got button it now. I got and it. and to get in those cracks and make sure you get lint, you know, I had to get in there with a lotion Q tip and lotion. Yeah, I didn't want to go raw. <laughs> no, I, I that probably aided in not. You know. Probably, yeah. Delicate little b- belly button. Uh, yeah, I just think about it. Also, mm. my jeans hit my belly button. So it it's like a constant. Like it's not, oh, you yeah, know, yeah. I'm, I, I'm I thinking get about why that it. would be a constant yeah. thought. Yeah. I do feel like belly buttons are much more exposed for the ladies. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. Like my pants ain't coming close. Yeah. Um, so you do miss spots when you clean, I when do. you shower. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I'm a dirty, filthy motherfucker. <laughs> Guess some people. Some people clean those spots. You know, I will say the one place I forget is behind the ears because sometimes I don't wash my hair, so I'm not going to clean behind my ears. Mm -hmm. But, you know, what's the protocol? Do you take shampoo behind the ears or do you take your face wash behind the ears or do you take your body wash behind the ears? Where does behind the ears fall? Wow. This is a deep question. That brings me to my next point. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, (laughs) ma'am. Unless you had something. No, no, not important. It is important. No, I was just going to say, do you condition every day? Um, yes. If I'm shampooing, I'm conditioning. But I don't shampoo. Yeah, but if shampoo, you're not shampooing. No, then I just tie oh. up my hair and it stays dry. Like okay. today I showered, but my hair didn't get washed. I think it's like a soap situation then. Soap situation? Yeah. Okay. But I feel like if you are shampooing or conditioning, then that, that's like, it gets there. Yeah. Do you have a favorite body wash scent? Oh. Uh, <laughs> do you want me to be bougie or not? Yeah. Well, the one I use often, well, the one that Alex uses, is this scent called Fig. Ooh, I love um, Fig. I think it's by Harry's. And it's actually quite, quite nice. Fig is amazing. It's really good. As a scent. It's great. Is it true that a bug dies in there and that's why you know, the fig is what it, it is? Apparently, yes. Apparently, there's a certain type of fig that has to be germinated by an insect. To actually like then become a fruit. Okay. Which is fascinating. So does but every then fig other, have a dead in, inside And I think in there it? are other ones because we've like bioengineered them mm. to not require that. I could yeah. be totally wrong. Again, this is site source as TikTok. So I don't know. No. But Be- fascinating, one right? thing I know about Will is that he's very smart. Mm, okay. BBC <laughs> Science Focus said it is true. If, wow. if the fig is a male, she lays a dead wasp or a wasp lays her eggs inside. These oh. hatch into larvae that burrow out, <gasps> turn into wasps and fly off carrying fake pollen with them. Wow. So you're eating larva. No, they, no, fly, they away. fly away. Well, I guess if they're dead uh, larva. Yeah, there might be some that yeah. die in there. Because you know what? the wasp it dies in there, yeah. I don't care. Figs are delicious. Yeah. Yeah. A plus. A plus little treat. Yeah. Mm. Quick, quick interruption. Uh, quick trivia Breaking question. Breaking news. Trivia question. What is the Treaty of London <laughs> for? Oh my God. There's just a treaty and it's for London. Treaty of London, 1474. Okay, 1474. What do we think was happening? Mm, we interrupt this segment for history. Does trivia. it have to do with Scotland? No. Mm. Okay. I'm out. <laughs> 1474. I, you know, actually, it might have to, mm, probably not. No. What was happening in the North America in 14? Not, not relevant. I'm just going to let you know right now, Does not relevant. Re- religion. No. Maybe, maybe the eventual or the war what it had to do with mm. with okay okay it's crazy it was called London back then <laughs> <laughs> what did you expect it to be called I just you know that they had formed cities and that stuff. they had formed the words by then yeah like where I was born Watford probably wasn't around in 1400 don't speak so quickly I don't know the I answer. I do speak quickly and uh, I'm usually wrong. <laughs> okay, um, can we get a hint? No. Oh, no. no. <laughs> treaty of London. Okay. We're so let's get down to here. business here. What is a treaty? <laughs> 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 it's when two parties sign an uh-huh. agreement uh-huh. and it's basically like, get off my back, bitch. This is what we're doing. Uh, I mean, it can be. Or yeah, it yeah, could yeah. be, get on my back, bitch. This is what we're doing. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think that it has to do with France. Wow. Bang. Yeah. Wow. Really? Yes. Yes. Yeah, let's oh. go. Okay. Yeah. I think France liked treaties. They did. That <laughs> they is correct. Did. They did. <laughs> just, you didn't say that because of Versailles. No. Okay. No. Okay. Yeah. Have you seen have you seen any war any anything about World War One? No, no. They loved making agreements. Okay. Have you seen anything about World War II? <laughs> you would fucking never, know. Never, that once. <laughs> you just, 
<laughs> yes, no, I haven't. <laughs> okay, keep going. Okay. Prince. Hmm. What could they be arguing about? Ooh, is it is it, you know, uh don't come on my land? Kind of or like let's push back the territory. More, more maybe kind of cold now, maybe the opposite. Uh, maybe or, can we have some land? Uh, closer. Anything, about to, anything to do with the channel underground? Mm, uh, Definitely had the infrastructure of <laughs> <in> the <laughs> 15th century yeah. to make the channel. Um, okay, so, no. okay, give us a hint. Like if it's about croissants, just tell us now. <laughs> <laughs> so. Um, no, no, just the one word. word okay, one word. Oh, one word. Just like the one word. Invasion. Okay, well, oh. what do you think? Um, was France invading England? Was invading France? Was thinking of doing thinking? Yes. Oh, just the thought. You mm. can get a treaty for just the thought of something. Yeah, yeah. Over, wow. they were going to expand and take over France. It was probably an area France didn't even really care about. Probably. No, no. It was probably. <laughs> it was all of France. Okay. So. Do you want, do you want, the whole, want the whole thing? Because we're, we're, another, we're pretty much there. Another one, one. Is it that okay. exciting? Um, <laughs> support. Okay. So it's a treaty in London about an invasion of France with support. Oh, oh. protect us. Protect France from... Was like Holland going to do Germany. something? No, no, no. Just fucking tell <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The Treaty of London was an agreement with between Charles the Bold of Burgundy mm. and Edward the Fourth of England, signed on the 25th of July, 1474. In the treaty, Charles agreed to support England mil militarily during an invasion of France and to recognize Edward as the king of France. Who was invading? England was going to invade France. Edward Edward the Fourth. So was they going said France has no say in this treaty. No, no. This is this <laughs> how did they get London to agree to this treaty? <laughs> how they had no leverage. So Charles the Bold is, I guess, some wealthy Frenchman, um, and he supported Eng Edward the Fourth's claim to the throne of France. Got it. Got it. So they were just like trying to like take over France, pretty much. And yeah. Charles the Bold was going to benefit. Yes. Yes. I'm not following. I've, uh, all Charles the Bold? <laughs> Wait, was of, Charles the Bold French? Of Bur of Burgundy. Oh, that He was French. Uh, you know what? He was born in Dijon, Burgundy, so I don't know what he was. What Do you want to double click on that <laughs> Wikipedia link? I am. It says Dijon, Burgundy. <laughs> Dijon seems French. <laughs> <laughs> Just okay. Quick, yeah. The, the ancient kingdom of Burgundians, which was part of the Frankish Empire, which is part of France. Okay. Okay. Wow. We finally. Uh, got I think it. there's an area in France okay, called so Burgundy. It's, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a color. That's all I know. Burgundy. Isn't yeah. it like wine? Yeah. Burgundy. Yeah. Uh, yes. Mm. Yes. This was a history checkup. I know. Can, <laughs> you, explain, can you explain what Miriam just said? Because I don't understand. Okay. Some dude in France <laughs> wanted to basically take over other parts of France. And I think England also wanted to take over France. And so Charles was like, yo, dude, I got you. I agree. Let's go take it on. And like, you can be the king of France. If you give London land? No, no. It had nothing to do with London. That, I think that's probably just where it happened. Yeah. Edward was from London, I assume. Edward wanted to take over France and invade France. And I think Mr. Charles the Bold was like, I can probably help fund this. And then I support you. I can help you. attack my own country. Yes, yeah, is what I'm. I, I How is that a treaty? That well, seems I, I like think it's a treaty between. Seems like well, a war. Yeah, also, like it's fourteen fucking two. 14. They don't. They like they don't talk like we do now. <laughs> France doesn't know this is happening. Huh? That seems like a made up treaty. If I'm being, oh, they're all made up. <laughs> that seems pretty made up. Prove it. We must go to Burgundy. <laughs> I want to know. <sighs> What you think about most in a day? Like what pops into your mind all day? Oh. Probably like what I'm going to eat. Food. Yeah. Consistently. It's like yeah. the most like consistent check-in. Yeah. But then like also just general anxiety about like is the world going to end or have, like money. You don't have anxiety. Yeah, I do. But not like crippling. But it's like always like, oh, how are we doing? What's happening these days? Do you have an inner monologue? Yeah. What does it say? I mean, it's not like a talk track. It changes on the day. Yeah, but like what kind of things do you say to yourself? Like, oh, that was stupid. Yeah, yeah, that was stupid. Ugh, 
I don't want to do this. Do I have to wake up? Oh, okay, let's go. Uh, yeah. That's funny. Do you ever find yourself um, saying things like as you do, like talking out loud and then you're like, oh, why am I? Uh, sometimes, but not usually. Okay. Because I try and like m- make an effort to not do that. Because I feel like once that starts happening, it's just it's kind of yeah. game over. I say okay a lot as I do things. Mm, mm-hmm. I'll like put my Coke down. If I'm like doing a series of like 10 things, I'll say, okay. Just to yourself? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I, okay. I will say like, okay. all right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Why do you say it like that? Are you from Tennessee? Tennessee. Fun the fact. Southern. Can you tell me where Tennessee is on the map? Sure can. <laughs> so last week was Bach. I did. Um, I said I mentioned you because he brought a states quiz. Oh, smart. And um, he fucking got 43 right. I'm sure. It's my lover. Um, And I got 19. You oh, know, with the amount of times. I mean, honestly, we, surprised you even got yeah. that many. But we have played that too many times. And we we played appalling. the just list what the states are. This was with the map. So I was well, a little Didn't we do off. that too? Possibly. You know, don't throw me wait, the you bus. Couldn't, <laughs> you couldn't identify where Tennessee is. Can you no. identify California? Yes. She of had course. to be Okay, you had to be reassured though. Wow. What about Texas? I knew California. Are you kidding me? Alina, you had to be reassured. We can roll the tape. What do you mean? On, roll the footage. It, it went it went one tooth. It was like one was Washington, two was no, Oregon, I was, three was California. I wanted like, to make sure that you had read them out in order. That was just me wanting to know that they had been writ they had been like said out loud. Uh, Mm. I'm a very, I'm a very like rule follower person. So thought, like I, I thought, needed to, I wanted to make sure I knew where we were on the list, uh, not because I didn't mm, know oh, where, that mm, it was California. Mm, I was like, I need to, because you know I like go through and I like I'm trying to mark them. Okay, so you were and so we because were, it was skipped. I like sure, 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 sure. It yeah, was sure. just more like of a just making sure talking I out loud. Gotcha, like, gotcha. Because because you said you said what was number three? I said California. You're like okay, I was just making sure. That so you're just saying I'm making, I'm sure, making that sure that number that you read it. Gotcha, oh. gotcha, and that, gotcha. Not that I didn't know. Gotcha, what gotcha, gotcha, I, gotcha. Come on. Yeah. I mean, come on. I, I mean, after sure. that, I said, "Come on." And there was no response. So I, I was, sure. I, was I think I just confused. tuned you out because yeah. you sure. were roasting me the entire <laughs> yeah. time. Sure. So, but there's. I still don't know. I totally know. I can't remember yet. There was um. Do you know a state's above California? There's a state above Texas. Yeah. And it had a little key on it, Uh and I still don't know what that is. It's Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Ah. Oh my god! Do you know where like Ohio is? Are you playing into the hair right now? Uh Yeah. 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 I also watched the first episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians (laughs) yesterday. (laughs) I had never seen a full episode of that show until yesterday pretty wild right it is pretty wild it's heavily produced yes. uh, i will say i get the west confused not california or oregon or washington but like the little mix idaho, in the middle montana yeah arizona yeah. utah yeah. idaho i can get confused nevada colorado i feel like they should be switched but they're not like, yeah it's, i it's forgot i forgot about colorado uh, but yeah i, can I know idaho Tennessee. that one's pretty obvious yeah because it's all weird yeah and um, montana's weird too but it's like i got i got that one sideways <laughs> Um, but I wanted to say, I wanted to know what the key was. I could have looked at a map, but yeah, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Oh my God. Holy. <laughs> it's the phone ringing. That's the end of the boat. Regular. I have no idea what that means. I've never heard that before <laughs> in my life. No, I'm just kidding. That concludes our, you know, normal episode. We will be continuing on in the bonus the Treaty of California has been signed. We will, <laughs> we will do a little uh, more history in the bonus. I have a couple other things that I wanted to talk to you about. And uh, yeah, catch us there. It's at patreon.com slash awsfpod. And we hope to uh, see, if not, see you next week. I yeah. love saying see you next week. Oh, I'm sure you do. Yeah, see you next, big see no. next week. No. <laughs> That's not what you like saying. That's not even right. <laughs> Cut all of that. <laughs> see you next Tuesday. There you go. There you go. <sighs> see you next Tuesday. But also see you on the Patreon because there's much of good shit coming yeah. down. D- okay. okay. I can't say it. Okay. Can't say what? It. Yes, you can. Can't cuss. You can. Okay, well, 
We talk about really bad stuff there, guys. It's naughty. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious and also informative. Yeah, it's very historical. It'll change little. your life. Change your life. Change, change your life. That's a little mix song. Boom, baby. See you later. <laughs> <laughs>